Hello gardening friend, it is April and time for our April garden tour. You're not going to believe how much is growing in the garden. So let me turn the camera around and let's get going. Okay, here we are at the lower end of the garden. Listen to all these birds. It's amazing how many birds you can hear. It's like we're in the middle of a forest or something. Isn't that amazing? Alright, well, garden tour, here we go. Okay, we're at the bottom of the garden here. I have some garlic coming up here. I have some carrots, which uh, made it through the winter, actually. This is something called Essex Kale. Some more carrots. Here's a fig tree that I pruned back quite a bit. It actually has some Breva figs coming. Actually, I'll show you some Brebas on this fig over here. Brebas are figs that grow off the old growth from last year. And they're an earlier crop. So basically, they're the first crop of fig. And this tree has quite a few Brebas on there. So we'll see if they hold on there till they get big enough to eat. Here's some arugula that is going to seed. I should have a lot of arugula in the garden that is going to seed. So, if I let a, two or three plants go to seed, I'll have plenty of arugula seeds for the year. Let's go over here and look at this pomegranate tree starting to bud out, or the leaves are starting to come out. We'll see if we get any blooms from it this year. I have potatoes starting to come up here. I covered over them for that cold we had last week. So, there's the po potatoes starting to come up. These potatoes actually got a little frosted, but they'll bounce back. You can see a, a new little bud starting to sprout out right there. It will definitely bounce back. Planted a couple blueberry bushes that I got just from the uh, Lowe's Home Center. Actually, thought I got four, but I came home with six somehow. Don't know how that happened. So that'll be fun to see how they do. Let's look at the garlic that I just planted like two weeks ago in the square foot garden. Look at that garlic growing like crazy. I planted nine and they've got nine came up. And here's the onions in the square foot garden that I planted from sets. I'll go ahead and put some cards up for those videos so you can come back when you're done watching this video and get those cards. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description too for these two. But uh, yeah, I'm already starting to thin these onions out and use them. Also got some broccoli, which is going to seed. It needs to be eaten. Some spinach. This is where I also planted the sugar peas. So the sugar peas here. I'm gonna eat this broccoli. I mean, eat this spinach leaf. So it's not shading. I think some of my sugar peas didn't make it through that cold spell either. There's um, a beet. Some raspberries here. You can see right here is where it's going to bloom. We focus on that. There we go. That's where it's going to bloom. Raspberries are one of the first fruits in the garden. Look at all this premier kale. These plants are over two feet tall. Might as well eat some of that too. While I'm here, you know. Look at these strawberries. Strawberries are blooming. Starting to grow. Some more broccoli over here. Some more premier kale. Need to eat this because it's starting to go to seed as well. That's premier kale, that's not broccoli. It looks almost like broccoli, doesn't it? Got lots of parsley here. Can't walk by parsley without taking a bite. There's some dinosaur kale.
Here's some cilantro. Some more arugula. I have a lot of arugula all through the garden. This is Bloody Dock. It's really uh, doing quite well. It's about, this is a perennial, so it's up, I'd say it's at least 16 inches. It might be close to two feet as well. Let me try this. Really doesn't have a whole lot of taste. This is a Deanna fig that I grafted onto this unknown variety of fig. It also has some Brebas coming out, maybe, or maybe not. But I'm hoping to get some fruit off of it this year. The horseradish is starting to sprout up again beside my worm pit. So that's a great spot for that. Here's some blackberries. The blackberries are starting to bloom. They're gonna have blackberries on before you know it. Here's where I planted some more of those onion sets, just in a row down the garden. And I also have a lot of garlic planted in the back there. There's a nice row there. Some more arugula going to seed. Here's some comfrey, which is a plant that you can take and grind it up or just put it in holes or put it on top of the soil for fertilizer it pulls up nutrients from down deep in the soil and you can put it on your crops right away here is some rosemary i just transplanted it over here because it wasn't in a spot where it was gonna be able to live long term so i put it over here see i also wanted to show you some apple trees that are blooming. Don't remember what kind of apple tree this is. I thought it was a gala, but then I saw my other apple trees a gala. I'll have to look at some of my past videos to remember what apple tree this is. It might be a yellow delicious. It has quite a few blooms on it. Haven't gotten any apples from this tree before. So maybe this will be the year. And I also have this apple tree here which was planted from seed. So if you can look, let me see if I can zoom in up there. There's some blooms up there. You can see there's tons growing in the garden and I haven't really planted a whole lot yet this year. So I need to get started throwing some seeds in the ground. I do have some winter sowed seedlings that are about ready to put in the ground. I'm going to be doing a short too, so I'll put a link to that up here. And over here, I'll put a link that Google says that you will like. So make sure you watch those two. One thing that you can do that really helps my channel is to like this video. If you liked it, go ahead and click that like. Like, like, like. Alright, have a blessed day. See you all again real soon.